It's the little engine that's powered Porsches and one rallies. It's the Boxer Engine! Like Muhammad Ali, Boxer Engines are powerful, efficient, and loud. They can go round for round with the best. But what makes them so unique? Let's find out why these engines float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Boxer engines are so named because of their horizontally opposed pistons. They're also called flat engines or contra engines. Inline engines have pistons in a straight line. Z engines have pistons in a V shape. There's actually a difference between real boxers and flat or 180 degree V engines. But for the sake of my mental health, we're just gonna refer to all of them as boxers for now. Don't at me. In a boxer engines, the pistons are horizontal and positioned opposite from each other, and when the pistons fire, they move in and out together, much like a boxer's gloves. To be honest, my boxing style looks a lot like the Wankel engine. Carl Benz, famed founder of Mercedes-Benz and Carl's Jr., patented the engine in 1896 and gave it the name Contra Engine. He named it that because he was a huge fan of the Nintendo game Contra, which hadn't come out yet. And the engine's pistons moved side to side, like the side-scrolling shooter. That's just a joke. I don't want to see any of you Benz heads trying to fight me. You don't want to catch these hands. In a typical V-shaped engine, alternating pistons moved at a mirrored angle slightly less than 90 degrees. If the cylinders are slightly off from each other during the four-stroke cycle, we're talking nanometers, the force becomes unbalanced. And that's a big problem. Like an apathetic teenager, an unbalanced engine is not operating at its full potential. Nolan. Lopsided weight distribution has a ripple effect on the car and can cause problems down the line. And that's remedied by the use of a balance shaft, an eccentric weighted shaft that offsets vibrations, or by use of the counterweights on the crankshaft. Boxers are lean, mean, balanced machines, and they don't need balance shafts or crankshaft counterweights like other engines. The configuration ensures reciprocal movement and weight distribution from all pistons. At any given time during its combustion cycle, there's two pistons going up, two pistons going down, and if it's a six cylinder, two in the middle, completely balanced. In an inline four, the pistons still counteract force by firing opposite each other. The pistons reach the very top and the very bottom of the cylinder at the same time, canceling out the primary forces. When a piston passes through top dead center and bottom dead center, the change of direction produces an inertia force, due to which the piston tends to move in the direction it was moving before the change. And this is called primary force, and it's mostly canceled out with balancing. The problem with inline engines is secondary forces. Secondary forces are caused by the piston moving faster at the top half of the cylinder than the bottom half, and they occur twice every half rotation, causing force way up from the piston. This leads to more vibration and imbalances in the engine. Boxers don't have this problem because the pistons are pointed away from each other, counteracting the primary and secondary forces. But this means a smoother ride when you're screaming down the dirt in your STI. However, Unbalanced movements caused by a reciprocating torque are unavoidable in boxer engines with less than six cylinders. These unbalanced moments are also called a rocking couple. My wife and I are also a rocking couple. My wife. Because we like to have fun. Well, and because my life has no balance. Anywho, uh, what are we talking about, Jar Jar Binks? No, boxer engines. What we refer to as a boxer engine nowadays most often could technically be called a flat V. They look almost identical. So what sets them apart? I'm getting to it, lay off! Crank pins, ever heard of them? Also called crank journals. They're rods that connect the pistons to the counter shaft. And they're what differentiates boxer engines from flat Vs. Boxer engines have one crank pin for every piston, where flat V engines have one crank pin for every two pistons. Opposing pistons on the flat V share a crank pin and move in reciprocating harmony. An advantage that boxer engines have over flat V is that their crank pins are cheaper to make. A crank pin that has to support two pistons is inherently going to be more expensive. It's got more force to support. Other than cost, boxer engines tend to have less engine vibration than flat Vs as well. You feeling my vibrations, friend? Good. Job of Boxer engines have both advantages and disadvantages when compared to the more traditional V-shaped or inline engines. One advantage is that flat engines are more stable and have a lower center of gravity, just like butter beans. Butter beans. This translates to better handling and reduced body roll. 
If you want to try an experiment at home, try laying on a skateboard and then go down a steep hill. Then put on some stilts and ride down that hill again. You know, hearing myself say that now, don't, all right, don't do that. Well, another positive side effect of having such a low lying engine is there's more room above the engine. And that allows a cold air intake to be placed on top and in front of the engine, where all that best cold air is. Like the Alaska of engine space. It's also why Subaru puts their intercoolers up there. Cause there's room! As far as physics are concerned, flat engines possess an advantage over others in front engine, rear wheel drive cars. But where they really shine is mid engine cars. Boxer engines, cause they're flatter, are much wider than other engines. But they're also much shorter, oftentimes as much as half the length of a V-shaped engine, or an inline engine with the same amount of cylinders. Width of an engine is less of a concern with mid-engine cars, but length can pose a problem. So you don't want a large mass hanging over the rear axle. Plus, the banks of cylinders on a boxer engine are easy to cool as they're more widely spaced from each other. So the shorter but wider boxer engine in a mid-engine car is a match made in heaven. Aw, oh, what a cute couple. They better invite me to their wedding. I already know what I'm gonna wear. For every yin, there's a yang, and boxers have no exception. They got some flaws that other engines don't, but hey, everybody's got flaws, right? I mean, not me, but that's something that humans say. First off, boxer engines can be pain in the astronaut to fix. The wide profile engine sits low on the chassis, crammed in tighter than a metaphor in this sentence. Boxer engines are often more complex than other engines, and that requires more parts and a better understanding to fix. Inline engines can get away with one set of overhead cams, whereas boxers need two distinct sets because they got separated cylinder banks. They've got not one, but two cylinder heads with associated head gaskets, intake, and exhaust manifolds. Double the number of camshafts, more complex camshaft chains or belts, and more complex cooling. So to work on it, you almost always gotta pull it out or jack it up, but again, it's lighter. So if you do have to take it out, well, it could be a bit easier than if you had to get out a V-style or inline engine. The way that boxer pistons fire is unique as well. In a typical inline four, pistons fire in a sequence of one, three, four, two. Still balancing the two outside up pistons with the inside down pistons and vice versa. A boxer engine fires one, three, two, four, balancing in its own boxery way. And both of these are way different than the Coolio engine, which goes one, two, three, four, it doesn't have lasting power, but it's a great way to get down. But it's gotta get up first. Boxers also tend to be louder than more common engines because of that valve clatter from the engine compartments not dampened by air filters or other components. But that's another reason people who love them love them. I personally like loud things. Firecrackers, Hawaiian shirts, Sam Kinison? Man, don't get me started on loud things. Loud things. Nowadays, boxer engines are manufactured commercially in very few places, mostly Japan and Germany. And only a handful of companies still put out cars that use them, flat boys. <laughs> you already know who they are, vape masters. If you don't know what makes them special by now, well, then I'm a complete failure. My life is a sham. <sighs> was I talking about Jar Jar's a Sith Lord? Uh, boxer engines! Anybody who knows me know that I care about protecting my online data from snoops and hackers because I'm doing science stuff and it's secret. But so how the heck can I protect it? Let me help you with this one, Bart. You need ExpressVPN. A VPN is a virtual private network. So without that, your internet browsing data can be tracked by your ISP, ad companies, and hackers. So if you want to keep this top secret science data safe, you should get ExpressVPN. All right, I gotta go return some videotapes. Good thinking, Bart. That guy's so smart, why didn't I think of that? ExpressVPN's got the fastest speed, consistently faster than other providers. They got locations in 94 countries, and thankfully, 24 seven customer support. You get help whenever you need it. They're the only VPN provider to release a suite of open source leak testing tools. Less than $7 a month, the 30 day money back guarantee. All it takes is one click. Take back your internet privacy today and find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link in the description box. ExpressVPN.com slash Science Garage. That's E X P R E S S VPN.com slash Science Garage for three months free with a one year package. Protect your privacy today. 
hit this little yellow donut button to subscribe. We're trying to bring you the best stuff we can. The more people who subscribe, the more cool stuff we get to bring to you. We got new shows coming out almost every day. Check out this wheelhouse on a cool thing. And check out this up to speed like you haven't already. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram, at Donut Media. Follow me, at Bids Bardo. Don't tell my wife I joined a fight club.